day. And we must deal with the human being, beginning with the design of our road, the design of our motor vehicles. If you look at the elevation of that car, that with that bus, if you look at the elevation I mean, from my perspective as a, an automotive engineer, it was it is it's the center of gravity is very high. It is loaded up there. So the the, the, the what do you call it? The overturning mom, uh, mom, mom, moment is very high. So that bus can roll over very easily. So okay. there are very many factors in that vehicle. I don't know, just from the perception of safety, that it should not have been carrying human beings. It should not even be on the road. And our, the, the, we have to address the questions of these, these garages that that, uh, that put these buses together, that assemble these buses. What Mr. kind of competence do they have? Okay, so thank you so much, uh, Mr. Okio Mutate, an, active, an activist who moved to court to try and have the night uh, travel ban lifted because he was saying that it was violating the rights of uh, public service vehicle man, uh, operators and, of course, the right of Kenyans uh, from traveling at night. And we continue keeping a keen eye on this story because we understand that the driver and the owner of the bus expected in Caricho uh, this morning, they're supposed to appear before a judge, so as uh, to face charges. And uh, we shall be giving you that live coverage as and when we get it.